Hello again. It's Monday, February 7th, 2022. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. On Friday in Covington, the Brew House and Cliffview Golf Club and Inn held a ribbon cutting event to celebrate the creation of a grill type menu and such things as craft beer for guests. CEO Matt Spinagle thanked many at the event for their cooperation all along the way. Listen. Congratulate Jen on her creations and her push to make this a successful food venue along with the golf course. In the end, it just gives us an additional amenity. She's done an awesome job. She's got big plans. Um, you know, with her behind the wheel in the kitchen, you know, I think the sky's the limit. So, uh... On Friday, 9th District Congressman Morgan Griffith reported his unhappiness with the leadership of House Speaker Pelosi in his latest e-newsletter. Instead of recent bills challenging China on a variety of issues, Griffith noted a huge amount of wasteful spending on misguided priorities. The full letter is available right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. And now a word from our sponsor. Tomorrow night, the town of Clifton Forge will have a new mayor due to the recent resignation of Pam Marshall. But who that individual may be isn't clear. The current vice mayor, Jeff Irvin, served a term as mayor a couple years ago, but there are four others who may want the job. Selecting the new mayor will be one of the first items on the agenda at the 7 p.m. session. The Allegheny County School Board meeting set for this evening at 6 p.m. in Lomore was abruptly canceled not long ago. A news release from the school division indicated that some cases of COVID-19 had been confirmed among the school board staff. The next meeting of the board will be held on Monday, February 21st. And we'll be right back. And now for local obituaries. Randolph Brewster, 67 of Iron Gate, died Friday. Richard Fridley Sr., 75 of Clifton Forge, died Thursday. Bridget Armantrout Edwards, 62 of Covington, died Thursday. Sean Persinger, 52 of Covington, died Saturday. George Worley, 73 of Natural Bridge Station, died on Thursday and Carrie Fry, 38 of Hot Springs, died Friday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. Let's check out the local weather forecast. On Tuesday, it should be mostly sunny, high of 46 and a low of 25. On Wednesday, mostly sunny, high of 55 and a low of 31. And on Thursday, partly cloudy, high of 50, and a low of 26 degrees. But there's lots of good news, because there's only 41 more days until springtime in Virginia. 
And that's the way it is on Monday, February 7, 2022. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV.